Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of a plus square root of minus a. This is equal to 12. So what is the value of a? Let's prevent the solution. Now we have square root of a plus square root of minus a. This is equal to 12. The first thing to do here, let's take square root of minus a on the right hand side so that here we'll have square root of a this is equal to 12 minus square root of minus a the next step is to square both sides let's square both sides from here so that now square root of a squared this simply we eliminate the square root sign so that a will be equal to now, this is 12 minus square root of minus a squared, and this is actually in the form of a minus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Now, let's apply this algebraic identity so that now, here we have 12 squared plus square root of minus a squared then minus 2 times 12 times square root of minus a so the next step here is that we have a is equal to 12 squared this is 144 then here we have square root of minus a squared we eliminate the square root sign so plus times minus a this is minus a then subtract 12 times 2, this is 24, square root of minus a. The next step is that let's take minus a on the right left hand side so that we have a plus a, this is equal to 144 minus 24, square root of minus a. So here we have 2a, this is equal to 144 minus 24. So we can factor out 2. So this is the same thing as 72. 144 divided by 2, this is 72. Minus 24 divided by this is 12. Square root of minus A. So let's divide here by 2, here by 2. So that from here, we have that A is equal to 72. Minus 12. Square root of minus a the next step is to take 72 on the left hand side so that now we have a minus 72 this is equal to minus 12 square root of minus a now we can write this equation as minus 12 square root of a negative a this is equal to a minus 72 The next step here is to square both sides. Let's square both sides from here. We have that minus 12 times square root of minus a squared. This is in the form of a times b raised to power n, which we can express as a to power n times b to power n. And define that a minus 72 squared. This is in the form of a minus b squared which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab let's apply this to exponent properties so this is minus 12 squared this is 144 then we have square root of times square root of minus a squared this is equal to a squared plus 72 squared then minus 2 times a times 72 now the next step here we have square root of minus a squared we, we just eliminate the square root sign so we have minus 144 a this is equal to a squared plus 72 squared minus 
72 times 2, this is actually 144a. So we have from here is that we have minus 144a and minus 144a, so this simplifies. So that now we have a squared plus 72 squared, this is equal to 0. Now we have a squared plus 72 squared, this is equal to 0. So this implies that a squared, this is equal to minus 72 raised to power 2. Now so for a, we introduce the square roots on both sides so that we have the square root of a squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 72 raised to power 2. Now, from here we have that square root of a squared, we eliminate the square root sign so that a is equal to plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 72 as square root of 72 raised to power 2 times minus 1. So we have that a is equal to plus or minus. Now we can eliminate the square root sign here. So this implies that we have 72, then square root of minus 1, this is equal to i. So this is plus or minus 72i. So we have two values of a. We have that a1 is equal to 72i, and we have that a2 is equal to minus 72i. So the next step is to verify. So let's verify from here. Let's verify that a1, which is equal to 72i, satisfies the equation. So, if you recall, we have that the square root of a plus the square root of minus a, this is equal to 12. So, we have square root of 72i plus square root of minus 72i, this is equal to 12. So the first thing to do here, let's square both sides. So that now, here we have square root of 72i squared plus 2 times square root of 72i times square root of minus 72i, then plus here we have the square root of minus 72i squared this is equal to 12 squared which is equal to 144 so here we have square root of 72i squared we eliminate the square root sign so this is 72i then plus 2 into the parentheses now we have square root of 72i times square root of minus 72i this is in the form of square root of a times b, which we can express, which we can express as. Now we have this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, which we can express as square root of a times b. This implies we have the square root of 72 times 72 times i squared then times minus 1, close the bracket here, then plus, here we have minus 72i. This is equal to 144. The next step is that we have 72i plus 2 into the parentheses here. This is the square root of 72 times 72. We have 72 squared, then times i squared, this is minus 1, times minus 1, close the bracket here, then plus seven, minus 72i, so my plus times minus, this is actually supposed to be minus 72i. This should give us a value of 144. So 72i minus 72i, this simplifies so that we have only here 2, now we have the square root of 72 squared minus 1 times minus 1 
this is positive 1, this should give us a value of 144. So this implies here yeah, square root of 72 squared. This is the same thing as 72. So we have 2 times 72. This is equal to 144. So 72 times 2, this is 144. And this is equal to 144. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that A1 satisfies the equation. So let's check A2 from here. Now let's verify that A2, which is minus 72i, satisfies the equation. Now we have the square root of A plus square root of minus A. This is equal to 12. So this implies we have the square root of minus 72i plus square root of minus minus 72i. This is equal to 12. So the first thing to do here, let's square both sides from here. So this is uh, this is in the form of a plus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now, from this algebraic identity, we have the square root of 7 minus 72i squared, then plus, here we have 2 into the parentheses. Now we'll have square root of minus 72i times square root of minus times minus, this is 72i, cross the bracket from here, then plus square root of 72i squared this is a, this is equal to 12 squared which is 144 now square root of minus 2i squared this is the same thing as minus 72i then plus here we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of 72 this is now 72 times 72, which is 72 squared times minus 1 times i squared, cross the bracket, then plus, here we have, seven, minus, that is square root of 72i squared, this is the same thing as 72i, this is equal to 144. So, minus 72i plus 72i, this simplifies, so that here we have 2 into the parentheses, now here this is the square root of 72 raised to the power 2 because minus 1 times i squared this is the same thing as 1 this is equal to 144 so let's eliminate the square root sign here so we have 2 times 72 this should give us a value of 144 so 72 times 2 this is 144 and this is equal to 144 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that a1, a2 satisfies the equation. a1, a2 satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video.